sketching the parabola we are having an equation y square is equal to 4 a x now how we are going to sketch it now you have seen number of figures we have gone through this part that we are going to for a parabola like this so how we can sketch it this is the what we are going to discuss now now for the sketching what we should be having first of all i have just here also i drawn it now again this is the same figure which we have already used now we have to sketch points and these points will be lying on this line but we have to go vice versa first of all we have to plot the points and then we have to make a rough sketch and when we are making rough sketch then we will be getting this point this shape ok so what are the points to discuss it just check it first of all I have written let us try a rough sketch of the curve on the assumption that O is the origin O m as x axis and O y as the y axis O m means this part as a x axis and O y this as a y axis ok this is the assumptions made by us now number one origin where the origin will be we have already discussed that origin is the vertex that is called at 0 0 ok so the curve passes through the point 0 0 why I have written right in the beginning this one because we have assumed this part ok so this is the origin it means this is the point first point for the parabola now axis of intersection the curve intersects the x axis where y is equal to 0 putting y is equal to 0 in y square is equal to 4 x now here I am putting y is equal to 0 then what I am having if I am putting y square is equal to 0 so I can just get it y square is equal to 4 a x now 0 is equal to 4 a x or x is equal to 0 so what coordinates I am having 0 and 0 ok so that is what I have written thus the curve intersects the x axis only at the origin that is 0 0 similarly putting x is equal to 0 now if I am putting x as a 0 then 4a times 0 will be 0 so it means y square is 0 or y is 0 so again shows that y axis passes through the origin now x axis and y axis both are passing through the origin thus y axis is the tangent to the curve at point O ok so this is a tangent to the curve means it is touching the parabola the parabola which we are going to sketch it rough at only one point that is 0 0 is it clear now symmetrical about axis I told you in the last module that this is a very important term we are going to discuss this in other terms also ok so symmetrical about axis now given for this equation now I am suppose writing this equation as f x and y for any function x and y and we are representing this as y square minus 4 a x is equal to 0 suppose we are representing this one just taken from here y square is equal to 4 a x or y square minus 4 a x is equal to 0 ok so what I have written what we have done in the last chapters also how to find symmetrical about the axis so if we are substituting in place of y negative of y in place of y we are putting negative of y then will this equation change no this will not change because now negative of y square it will become minus 4 x now one more thing here we have to correct it this square will be outside it ok so negative of y square will be here ok this this is wrong so this will be written as negative of y whole square like this one I am sorry this is my mistake ok so now minus 4 a x is equal to 0 and again this whole terms becomes y square negative of 4 a x is equal to 0 so it means we have not changed it putting y as a negative of y does not affect any type of a on the question so the given parabola is symmetrical about the x axis ok so first point second point third point now next we are having again a figure is here same now fourth point is now if x is less than 0 then y square is equal to 4 a x has no real solution if x is less than 0 if it is negative then right hand side will become negative and we cannot find a square of a negative exponent ok or a negative number so that is why there will be no real solution we can indeed we can have some imaginary solutions in y and so there is no real point on the curve 
with negative x coordinates on the left for example, on the left of the y axis. So, we cannot have any coordinates on this side, we cannot have any coordinates this side. Okay? So, it means only 1 0 0 is there 1 point and if we are putting x less than 0 it is it has no means. Okay? Then <coughs> Now, as x is equal to 0, this we have already discussed it. When x is equal to 0, y will be 0. When y is 0, x will be 0. So, 0, 0 is the only point on the x, y axis which lies on it. Therefore, the entire curve except the origin lies to the right of the y axis. Now, this is the y axis. This dotted line is the y axis here. So, the entire curve will be towards myself, my side, okay, towards the right of the y axis. None of the thing will be moving towards that side. If a point P x y, now suppose anywhere I have drawn a point, suppose point P is lying here. If point P x y is a point on the parabola in the first quadrant, then the equation y square is equal to 4 x gives y is equal to, now y square is 4 x, what y will be? 2 root a x. Also you can write it, just look here, we can write it y square is equal to 4 a x, y is equal to plus minus square root of 4 a x and this becomes y is equal to plus minus 2 square root of a x. But here I have already used positive of square root of a x and multiplying by 2. Okay? So, look here gives y is equal to 2 square root of a x this means as x increases y also increases and the curve is unbounded as x increases y will be increasing as x is moving this side the point will be moving this side up and up and up ok as we are going this one moving upside and one stage will come when it is and it will be unbounded figure it will it will not be coming back now one more thing gives y is equal to 2 square root of x now can anybody tell me why i have not used this negative part yes ok nice I got an answer with a very low voice. So, what it was? That above here we have used, here we have written that it the curve will be on the left of the y. The curve will not, the curve with the negative oxidant on the left of the y, it, we cannot go this side. We will be having only this side. It means we are only in the first quadrant. That is why we are using only this part. We are using only this part. Is it clear? So, now now, each and everything is clear to us. We are having different points. If we are taking x as here, y will be here, x is here, y will be here and here, both sides like this one. It will go like this one. We are having two points. Okay? So, when we are putting the two points, now here I have used only this part. Okay? Just look here what I have written. Draw a rough diagram of a point of a parabola in the first coordinate and then complete it with the help of the symmetry. Means, we are just plotting this point like here, 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 here like this one and then this is symmetrical axis and then exactly same will be coming here also. Okay? Now, I am just repeating once again. What I am repeating? Now, can we go for plus and minus? Now, you tell me, can we move for the plus and minus? Yes, we can go. Okay? This is only for the first quadrant. Now, if you are using these two, then we are getting this shape also. Oh, but I do not want to tell this thing. So, basically what we have defined that this should this part is only for the first quadrant and this part it should be the, by the symmetric type. Okay? So, this is all about the diagram about the sketching for the parabola and the equation was y square is equal to 4 a x.